the more Gertie sat still, the more projects we discovered. We're just gonna go find some water. I mean, here is where they do a lot of the magic. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch it, watch it. Did a good job. We just packed up to hit the road. Um, we were actually hanging around working on projects and it was like, I swear it seemed like the more Gertie sat still, the more projects we discovered we needed to do or something. It seemed like it was broken and needed to be fixed. And we were like, you know what, maybe it's better to just go somewhere. Uh, so we just jumped on the road here. We've got to go to Dothan, Alabama. We're gonna replace a component that we have um, that's gone bad and they have it there. So we're gonna drive there. And then we're going to explore the area and see what there is to do. We're just going to go find some water. That's what we're going to do, find some water. So we got about a three and a half hour drive, I think. Three, maybe four hours. Uh, so that's like five hours in San Man and Coco time. Maybe six. Because <laughs> we take it easy a little bit driving. We don't have to rush. I mean, Actually, that's a big thing. A lot of people get confused, I think, when they travel, you know, an RV, especially like a Class A. Um, a big part of traveling is the road trip. But uh, yeah, we might even stop. We might not even, we might stop soon as we get around the corner because there's a really cool place that I'm thinking about going for lunch. All right, so we are at a place called Peach Park. This is in Clanton, Alabama. And uh, it's kind of one of those things that's uniquely Alabama now. It's, the peach, it's called Peach Park, and you'd think it'd be in Georgia, being the Peach State, but whatever. So, uh, but they have everything, any, every and anything related to peach in this place. And uh, especially the peach cobbler is really good. So we're gonna try some of that. Hopefully it's still as good as it's always been. And, uh, Maybe uh, if you get it to come through this way, stop by here and check it out. I mean, here is where they do a lot of the magic preparing the product that you'll see in the front. Um, so let's go up there and check it out. Right off the bat, when you come in, you see all kind of peach stuff, peach preserves, peaches in baskets, peach, just anything peach. Um, but yeah, check it out. All right, so this is the spot where they have the ice cream. So we're gonna most likely end up in there at some point. This is where you put your order in. You just come in this little area here. They've got all kind of pastries and everything to tempt you right up front. Uh, but I think they also have some food items here too. And then on the left, you can see all the different Miss Peaches over the years. All right, so we found the line. There's never a place this good that doesn't have a line. And this one is uh, not too bad, but it's, yeah, it's worth the wait. Okay, so I'm gonna order cobbler. Wanda's over there getting the, uh, the food. I would like two peach cobblers to go, I guess in a bowl. Yeah, yeah maybe one of these sealable bowls because we'll eat first. Uh, you got a bigger one than that? Yeah, yeah, two of those. Uh, peach cobbler, and then I think we've got any ice cream to uh, top it off. Oh, now this is only open a part of the year, right? What is just from when to when is it open, you know? Good, so if you come through here, it's seasonal. Don't expect to see it all the time. All right, no receipt. All right, so I'm headed back. Juan is finishing up grabbing her stuff and we will hit the road again. didn't know it but they actually have campground here so you really you could actually camp here if you wanted to that is crazy but hey teach his own yeah. all right so this is the playground it's a nice little place 
really didn't know all this was back here because we usually park in the front and then we don't actually ever get to this side of it but it's really good that this is all here because after a long trip being on the road you want to kind of unwind a little bit and this place lets you do that So I was walking back to Gertie and I actually noticed that I turned a little bit too sharp when we were at the gas station the last time and I actually bent the wheel on the bike. So I got to replace this. Look at this. She's a 37 footer. Every once in a while I misjudge. All right, so we're getting the propane field. That's one of the things that we need to do before we get ready to hit the road. Um, it usually doesn't take too much to fill it up because we don't really let it get too low, but we are interested in this particular field because uh, we do have one appliance that's not working and sometimes the pressure, the amount of pressure uh, from the gas can, can make an appliance cut off. So um, this will be really interesting. Hopefully it saves us a little trouble. If not, we got to replace that appliance. Years after that. Okay, so one of the things we just learned is uh, after a certain amount of time, you have to get your uh, you may have to get your propane uh, equipment recertified. Got it all full, huh? How many gallons did it take? Ten gallons. Ten? All right, and it's what, like three dollars a gallon? Three fifteen or something? All right, so we, we got the propane field and the appliance that we're trying to, uh, that we were hoping would start working because of additional pressure from the propane does not work. That's the water heater. So we don't have a working water heater um, built in anymore. So we just came to Camping World and our Gander RV, excuse me, we just came to Gander RV and they did carry a tankless water heater, tankless and ventless. So I guess we got another project. We will be swapping out the existing water heater that's built on with this new one. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting, but we definitely wanna get that taken care of. Have our camping arrangements for the night because we mostly wanted to just hurry up and get to the part that we needed but uh, we were so close to Florida uh, we decided to just head this way and we actually found a campground that had an opening for the night so we're going to hang out there um, and then see what we get into tonight and tomorrow we don't really know yet but that's okay pretty nice we got here last night but it was raining and so we just grabbed a bike to eat actually we ate uh, the rest of our food from yesterday uh, from Peach Park right, so there's Gertie Park there we actually put the awning out since it was raining uh, but it's a nice long pad to pull in on very level concrete um, got the grill over here in case we didn't use it last night but if we, this would have been an option as well picnic table and a fire ring right here. You don't have to request them or anything. We're in spot number 43. Um, and there's a lot of spots here, so it was pretty nice. It was a back-in location, but that's all right. I'm pretty comfortable with backing in. Got full hookups here, of course, and even cable. It's just located just across from residential neighborhood. And when you come in, 
just straight ahead drive to the registration office. You can see they have Wi-Fi antennas and everything up, so that's real good. Really well maintained location. Basically they have a mix of RV locations that you can back into, but they also have a lot of these tiny cabins over here that you can rent too. Well, those are pretty cool and nice to buy. They're looking at the uh, registration packet. Looks like we plan to expand quite a bit of it too. Looks like they're adding several, several spots actually. Um, and that will actually be the ones that are probably closer to the fresh water uh, on the right side of the park if you're driving in. That's where the intercoastal waterways are. So, and that's where they have boat rentals and everything. We'll take a look down here. So this is uh, like <clears throat> one of the runoffs from the uh, saltwater area. You can actually see the mangroves down there. Pretty nice. Uh, 24 hour laundry service available, so that's pretty cool. This is the bath area and wash house. You can see the laundry stuff just over here. The playground area, which is great. You got little ones. And it's under the shade tree, so they kept that in mind. And over here is the pool area. They give you a passcode to get in. And they got it behind the screened in area here. So that's pretty good. Keep some of the trash and debris and bugs out. Maybe not squirrels that can jump over the top of it, but anyway. So it looks like they have a little dining area here. I suspect it's probably closed, but uh, it's early in the morning, of course. Oops, I was wrong, it's open. So this is a little screened in area open for guests to use when they don't have a grill or whatever but looks like it might be or maybe they just use this to cook I see chairs over here so let's see yeah based on these instructions it looks like this is designed for you to be able to come in and cook if you host an event of your own or whatever or just have your family so this is the office and registration area. Got the ice machine up here. This is where we picked up our packet when we first came in. It was after hours. So they had it sitting out here waiting on us. So it looks like they have a private boat launch area. can get access to. I love the way they've incorporated this walking trail in the park as well.
your own. I guess it looks like you can park it right here. That's pretty nice. A little area for when you come in. Get out of the sun. <laughs> and have some type of an event here. So that's good. Screened in. So they really conscious about keeping the bugs off of you. I like that. Alright, so I am going to head back. And I think we'll go ahead and pack Gertie up. This was just an overnight deal. Wish we probably could hang out here a little bit longer, but uh, we want to get fishing. So it looked like where we are going to fish. There's a pier, uh, but it looks like it might have the tendency to get crowded. So we want to try to get out there a little early. See if we can get a, one of the RV spots to park in. So we're going to Okaloosa Island Fishing Pier. So that ought to be pretty cool. Hopefully they got good fishing there, but even more important, I hope they got a place for Gertie to park. Okay, we have made it to the beach area where the fishing pier is located. Got Gertie nestled in right here between a couple of trees. Hopefully it doesn't get too windy. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep an eye on the weather. So we're like right in the middle of everything. So we got touristy areas all behind us and around us, restaurants. Got the sheriff's office and emergency services right there. And the pier is just over that way. Oh, got something there. Oh yeah, it's a big reward. Okay, that one fell back in, but that was okay. It's just one of those remorse things that rides on the side of sharks. We usually don't like those to, like to catch those anyway, so it was good it fell back on its own. But so far, we're not getting any bites, but it's a nice day out here. Not super sunny, a little overcast, but not raining. So yeah, still enjoying the day a little bit. Here's a look at the beach. Yep, I see him. Did you have any luck? Yeah. This one. There you go. See him going on it? Okay, Thomas. It's so hard to catch a picture of a sea turtle. 
because they just pop up from out of nowhere, but I finally got a good shot of one. All right, wasn't a lot biting at the other location, so we decided to come down to Navarra. There's a pier down here, so we're going to check it out, but it is super crowded. Hopefully, we can actually get in and find a place to park. If not, we'll have to find another destination. All right, yeah, we had to give up. We had to give up on that location. There's absolutely nowhere to park. Uh, just absolutely packed today because there's a rare birding rare birds breeding in a lot of the parking areas so um, yeah it is what it is yeah, you can keep that one yeah. 11 or 12 so the one All right, just the next day. Fishing wasn't really perfect, but we met a few nice people. We caught a couple. So we're back out again today. Catch a, hopefully one or two more before we hit the road to head home. And, uh, but we did have one piece of good news. The component that we bought for Gertie uh, that we originally made the trip for, turns out we did not need that. So um, we figured out the problem. It was just a wiring issue. I got it squared away. So yeah, we'll have a little fun. Take that part back after fishing and uh, call it a day. You're gonna have to back up the best you can because the wind's got the net too. Yeah. Hey, that's all right. That's good stuff. Now you seen your fish, huh? I've seen her hooking that you couldn't hold it. That's a good catch. That's a good catch. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> I don't mean a little bit, you don't beat the bad. Oh a, yeah, she walked my tail today. That is a really good fish. Wow. Really I've never caught one before. <laughs> I haven't either. I haven't either. She has. I caught two this morning, but it wasn't none of them this big. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think so. Yep, got it. Wow. Another massive. Oh, man. You did it twice. Definitely better you did it twice. Hey, look at this. Yep. Oh, wow. Barely hooked. I mean, just barely. Wow. It might, might no, be, he's, he may be too big. It may be too big. Oh, really? It's a slot fish. He has to be within a certain size. Right there, don't move, okay? I got it. I got it. Yeah. Woo! Do you have a GoPro? Yeah. My dad has two GoPros. Ooh. Careful out there. There you go. Wow. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to throw him back. There he goes. Woo, he's kind of smiling. Can we throw little ones in? Yeah. <laughs> Not the big ones. <laughs> see you later. So we gotta get back on the road. And like you can see, none of the luck was my luck, but somebody had luck and that's all that matters. We'll see y'all in the next one. All we had to do was hustle. Okay. All we had to do was grind. 
Now they on me on it. All they gotta do is shine. Two more than 30 years. Now I'm people crying. Oh, we on the road. It's just me and mine.